I can honestly say that the Apogee mic, this device right here, is probably one of the most flexible devices that I own. That's because it works with the iPhone, it works with the iPad, it works with the Mac. It has a lightning cable in the box now, so you can just plug it right into your newer iOS devices and start recording right then and there. And that's all you need. It doesn't need any external power. Um, you see all the highlights right here. It doesn't need any external power. Just one cable goes from your Apogee mic directly into your iOS device, just like that and you're good to go. You're good to start recording. It works with GarageBand, it works with the Cubases, it works with a variety, pretty much any uh, application that accepts audio, and it works very, very well. So I'm gonna unbox the Apogee mic for you guys so you can see exactly what's in the package, what to expect from this device, and I'll have a more in-depth review as well. I'm gonna have some sound samples and all that on iDownload blog, so make sure you check back for that. But right now, I just wanna show you a, a high-level overview of what to expect once you purchase your Apogee mic. And here is the box within a box, if you will. You see some of the accessories that you can buy along with it, but really, it comes with quite a few different uh, cables. It comes with a tripod. This is your lightning cable to hook up to your newer iOS devices. And here's a little quick start guide there. I'll just set that aside for now. Here is the Apogee mic. Set that aside. Here are two additional cables. One is your traditional old school 30 pin cable for older iOS devices. And this one is just a standard USB cable that hooks up to your Apogee mic. And lastly, we have our tripod, which is a fairly solid piece of work here. And we'll just open this box up. And this is the tripod that comes with your Apogee mic. It's fairly small. It's meant to just sit on your desk. It's not something, obviously, you're going to stand up on the floor or anything like that. Uh, but just for quick recording sessions where you need a st stable surface, this works very well. It just screws directly into the thread on your Apogee mic. So that covers all of the box contents. Let's look at the, the device here. Now, this is the Apogee mic next to my fifth generation iPod Touch. And actually the Apogee mic is shorter than the iPod Touch. This is a very small, sleek, uh, easy to travel with device here. And while it is very diminutive, it's also solid to the touch. So you don't feel like you're gonna break it by handling it rough. It's it's okay, trust me. Uh, so that is the Apogee mic sitting next to the iPod Touch 5th generation again. Let's get a, a more up close look at these. And you can see right there that the uh, iPod Touch 5th generation is indeed taller. Now here is a very up close look at the Apogee mic. You see the grill protecting the diaphragm inside. And again, you just can't help but notice the build quality when you hold this in hand. It is a very solid device, aluminum build uh, from top to bottom, and it shows when you hold it. Now, while a lot of microphones have a lot of fluff, they have a lot of LED screens and knobs and dials and all that, you don't have all that with the Apogee mic. You have a simple gain knob, and that's pretty much it outside of the little LED indicator, which we'll talk about here in a second. Now on the back of the device, right below the Apogee logo, you'll notice this little hole. It's a standard threaded hole for your tripod that comes with it. It also works with, you know, obviously standard tripods as well. And on the bottom, you'll see this little port here for your plug, and that is what plugs into your iPod or your iPhone, etc. And last but not least, you have this little LED indicator, which will show you later on. This denotes whether the device is working and in accepting input. Speaking of input, you have your lightning cable connection that allows you to hook up to your iOS device. On the opposite end, you'll see a proprietary connection for your Apogee mic. Unfortunately, this little connector only goes in one way. It doesn't go in both ways like the uh, lightning connector on the opposite end of it. So make sure the plug is facing upwards and then just plug it in like that. And it's a really secure connection, very snug. You don't feel uncomfortable about it just popping out or anything like that or snapping off. This is very well designed. Now on the other side, you're just gonna go ahead and plug in your lightning cable to, in this case, my iPad mini. And then I'll go ahead and screw in the included tripod. And once you have all this set up, really, I mean, it's just a studio right there on the go you don't need any batteries, don't need any power source. The iPad or iPhone will power this device directly. And so that's what's so nice about the Apogee mic is you basically have a very high quality, studio quality microphone 
anywhere you go. You can hook it up to your iPad. Uh, you can even use this cable right here for older devices. Or if you want to hook it up to your computer, you can use just a standard USB cable that allows, allows you to hook it up to your computer. That's why I say that the Apogee mic is one of the most diverse, flexible uh, peripherals out, period, that you'll find for iOS or the Mac. Highly recommend it. We'll have more in an upcoming post on iDownloadBlog.